So ZBrush is coming to iPad in 2024. And here are some things that I would love to see. Number one, I would love a fast way to transfer your ZBrush sculpts from your PC slash Mac directly to the iPad. So imagine this, you are sculpting away on your character, things are great with the world, and then you wanna head out for the day. So you press a button in ZBrush that does not exist yet, which immediately takes you to their file format, the GIF or the PNG, that you can pull up your iPad, take a picture, and then boom, it's just on your iPad. So it cannot be clunky. No exporting of files, uploading to Google Drive, or emailing to yourself. None of that. Now, getting it from the iPad to the PC probably would be a little more tricky, but... Let's make it happen. So this one's gonna be controversial. I do not need the entirety of ZBrush on my iPad. Said it, I said it. ZBrush is bloated as is. There are dozens, literally dozens of features that myself and the vast majority of users just don't even touch or they just rarely use it. So if you rarely use it now on like the PC, you're probably definitely not gonna touch it at all on an iPad. I don't need shadow box or 2.5D painting, array mesh, slime bridge, the list just goes on and on and on. Now some of those, like I use array here and there. I use slime bridge from time to time, but I can always bring the sculpt from my iPad back to ZBrush to do those details to anything that the iPad is just missing. So what do I need? What does everybody need? We need sculpting. All the brushes, the subtool, geometry, deformations, but if it's not directly tied to sculpting, I don't think it needs to be on there. And last but not least, just for kicks, a perpetual license. I know it is not going to happen, I promise you, hear me, it won't happen. So what would you love to see inside a ZBrush for iPad?